How's it going, YouTube? For today, we're gonna be flailing about here and attempting to pilot the Yogmoth combo deck. It's one that was requested, and I've wanted to try it, so we're gonna see how we can do with it. For those who don't know how it works, is you basically go infinite using Geralt's Messenger and uh, Yagmoth, either through two messengers or a messenger and another undying creature. <laughs> the idea being that you have one messenger and then you put the counter on the undead messenger so that way when you sack the messenger again, it gets undying trigger. So your opponent will lose two life for every two life that you have paid. If you have two messengers out, it's then every one life your opponent loses two, so you'll be able to win a lot quicker. But the main part of the combo is messenger and Yagmoth. If you're up on life, you win. Now to help us, you've got Court of Calling and Eldritch Evolution here to search to grab whatever piece you need. And there are other combos throughout the deck, such as Hepatra, making it so that way, uh, whenever you put a minus one, minus one counter, make a snake. And so, Yagmoth, put a counter on something, and sacrifice something. It allows you to, basically it's another way for the undying type stuff without having to worry about the messenger. Or without having to have a messenger, you have a blood artist here, so that way, if you're sacrificing things, because guess what Yagmoth does? You have a drain effect. Then you have Grist here because Grist is a great card. It's a planeswalker. It allows you to sacrifice creatures to get rid of things that you need to. And although you probably aren't going to, the ultimate can be quite the powerhouse in this deck to help you along. And with the ramp, you've got some ignoble hierarchs and a bird of paradise and wall of roots. Those are all just ramp creatures. Essence Warden, I guess, is a way so that way you can gain life. I'm like, Essence Warden, why do I know this card? Because it's the green soul sister. Um, and that's the rundown of how the main board kind of works. You'll see it in the gameplay as to whether or not I can pull it off. And then in the sideboard, what we've got going on here is you've got Necromintras. And Thoughtseize, so that way you can stop combo-esque style decks. You've got a Singleton Veil of Summer, so that way you can resolve your great spell against Control. Wreck Sage, because destroying artifacts and enchantments, never a bad plan. And then Force of Vigor, again, destroying artifacts and enchantments, never a bad plan. Endurance, because, you know, Mill's a thing, Dredge is a thing. Yeah. You can also use this against Oops All Spells, which has taken a resurgence, so that'll be interesting. And then you have Augur of Autumn this is an interesting one here. You can look at the top card of your library, and you can play lands from the top of your library. And then, if we control three or different powers, we can cast the creature spells. That's not going to be too difficult, because we have one, two... And three here. What? What? How, how have you never chatted in here before, Donovan? Anyway. Then Augur. And then an Obstinate Bayloth. So that way when you are forced to discard things, you discard the Bayloth and just start going him. And a Scoos, because Scoos. That's the rundown of this list. Watch me flail about here and... Lose, probably. Let's go. Well, we know that these, this person's on Affinity. And this is the combo in hand. We just need to get to third black source. But I don't think I'll have enough life. Okay. This we can keep. Keep bottom Heatland. Somehow you still don't work Saturdays. I mean, actually... Cancel. Let's bottom the cord. 
So there's the Saga, Springleaf Drum, Memnite. Blue Pest. That's right. These, was Monowog the Pest version? Or did they change? They don't care about green, so we'll make it so their list gets to run green mana for a bit. So there's a Spire. They turn just the Memnite sideways. Makes sense. Assuming they're going to make a token. If we're like a fake friend. <laughs> You're not a fake friend for not watching my streams. There are plenty of other good streamers to watch instead of me. Well, there's a Yogmoth. So we're going to go Verdant Catacombs here and pass the turn. Because they make a 4-4 four -four here. And make another 4-4? Four -four? Or 5-5, five -five, I guess, technically. Because they grow. They're gonna have... <laughs> we have to take 5 here. We're just dead, aren't we? Like, I don't see a way out here. If we had played... Overgrown Tomb instead, we'd be taking eight this turn, and then we could slowly ping off their things. Yeah. Let's just concede and move on to the next game. Like, we can block for a bit, try to stall out. But so we get the Geist, we play out the Geist, we then play this tapped. Next turn, we can Pete land and get the Messenger out. Yeah. Okay. So, Force of Vigor seems like a pretty good card here. Rex Sage seems like a pretty good card here. Um, don't really want Thought Caesar Necromantia. Aloth Endurance. Scooch doesn't seem awful. But there's nothing we really need to eat out of the graveyard. But the life gain's probably not terrible. As far as what to cut. Yeah. Cuts. Probably trim down a bit on the combo. Um Blood Artist is fine. And I guess we're trimming down on combo. We can trim down on an evolution. And then I guess a messenger. Oh, I'm I know it's gonna be real easy to overboard. I just know we want force of vigors and rex sage. And then the scoos is questionable. It's always easy to overboard with decks. Because you definitely want a you want to keep your core intact so turn one young wolf turn two wall of roots and then turn three we have a messenger if we can hit a black source we'll try it it's probably wrong 
And I led on the forest. Let's go. Misplaying right off the bat. That Memnite. Then what we tapping for? A spell bomb. Oh, nice. You enjoying it in paper? So you see, if I wasn't a terrible magic player, we'd be in a pretty good spot right now. Because we'd have the turn three. Never seen the combo locally? I'm not surprised. So evolution is two plus, so we can evolution into Yogmoth here. <laughs> Which buys us enough. Okay. Noting that evolution is a sorcery. Cancel. Let's do that, that, and this. Evolution, the wall of roots. Oh, you metallic rebuke. Yep. We knew that they were running it too. <laughs> I'm not surprised that there are that many people who play at a boardwalk. So this leads us to an interesting choice. If we block here, we get the undying wolf to block there next turn. Uh, yeah. Like, I don't know if I still own messengers. If I do, I might build this in paper. Ignoble Hierarch. So... Scoos Eat Wall gives us a 3-3. Three, three. And then we have Hierarch as well. Run to him, shock it in. This scoos. Do you have the rebuke for my scoos? No. Okay, good. Hey, green, eat our own wall. And then hierarch here and pass the turn. Yeah, this deck is, I feel this deck is extremely powerful, but you need it to, you need to know how to pilot it. Let's put it that way. So plating and now paying costs. Doesn't equip. Swings with just four. Oh, 
I'll take four once. It's probably incorrect. True. So this, let's redraw. We draw Geist. Go ahead and get the messenger down. Messenger will into the battlefield tapped. Unless, of course, they have a metallic rebuke, which they do, because why wouldn't they? <laughs> You're not the jinx, Fluffy. Gonna block with your tutu? No. Darn. Yeah. Like, I'll swing for five. It's not great, but it's not awful. Because obviously we just block wherever this plating goes on to. Oh, they're going to bounce the young wolf and then equip? Oh, no, they're just going to equip. We get to go to blocks? Sweet. I'm going to block that. Ignoble Hierarch. Strangle Root Geist. Combat. Swing for four. Fun. They grow their companion. They play out a second plating. Red mana. Don't know why you'd float red. Okay. So, block like so, tap for a green, exile the young wolf here to gain us a bit more life, trade, and we hit essence warden. So the problem here is that we can really only swing with the Hierarch here, but we're going to hold it back for blocking duty in case we get bounced by the spell bomb. Stop ah, monitor. And I always yield the Essence Warden. Saga's found. Not great for us here. So the problem is we're just dead in the air unless we have a way to kill this thought monitor. Meaning we need Yagmoth off the top. Okay. 
equips there. Patra. Like I said, we're just dead in the air here. It's a bit unfortunate. Like we can play out the Hepatra here. Gain ourselves one life. But as seeing these are plus 10 apiece, we take 22 in the air. Yep. Also incorrect. You should be making a saga token. Fun times. The rebuke and does it for affinity. Oh, one to start. And two turns away. I would love to take the play. Sure, we can keep. The double Yawgmoth isn't great, but the young wolf into messenger is fine. Oi! Outside. Is this the young wolf? Is this the mirror match? Please let this be the mirror match. No. Oh, so, do they take the messenger here? Or do they take one of the two Yagmas? They take the messenger. Makes sense. That tapped. Play out young wolf. Yeah, dogs, man. They're great, but they can be annoying sometimes. All right, Abzan. Is this Ko? I know it's not, but. I'm better than parrots. True. Play the land that they know about here. Combat swing both. They revealed to us a batter skull. Yeah, they block one. Undying brings one back. And they're at 10. I mean, we can put negative one, negative one counters on things. If <laughs> rescues the things. I mean, somebody's got it, right? Batter Skull, they have themselves a 4-4. Four, four. Dot sees you take one Yog. I'm going to turn that 4-4 four, four into a 1-1 one, one opponent. Make the house very loud during the day. I'd imagine. Dot sees bug? Young Moth. So we get to draw a bunch of cards here. Or we shrink their... Why would you put counters on their stuff? I mean, we don't. Yeah, I was like, 
I, I was thinking shrink their thing, but then I realized I can. This just draws cards. This says we get to go to blocks, block, and then draw cards. You're at 20, take the hit. Each player discards a card. I mean, I guess I'm discarding this Yawgmoth. Yeah, exactly. It's like th this whole... Just take the hit? You really think taking the lifelink hit's a good idea? I, I think we use this wolf as a fog. Now activate. Choose up to one target creature. Then sacrifice this one. Undying and put a counter and draw a card. Okay. There we go. I need to target there, sack here, yield, draw, target here, sack there, draw, target here, sack there, draw. Hmm. Target here, sack there. At this point, we're just looking for a way to get to a messenger. Okay, well, now we just draw infinitely. So, land, green, essence warden. Green, green, strangle root, and gain some life. Green, green, strangle root, gain some life. They're at eight, and so we just swing. <laughs> like, we swing, we put them to. We swing, they block one of these, we sack whatever they block, and shrink our young wolf, and then they take the damage, we gain life. Uh, I don't think we're losing from that point. So, Baloth is a card, because they're Abzan. I like Rex Sage. I don't necessarily want Force of Vigors in this matchup. Why attack such BM? Because attacking puts it so that way I don't have to find lethal. But yes, it is basically BM. Attacking means I don't have to go through my deck to find the messenger. Because I didn't have a way to drain them. Essence Warden is just we gain life. Kinda like Augur in this matchup, but I don't know. Because I feel this is a grindier matchup. I don't feel like we want the discard against Abzan. But we didn't see a lot from them. I can see bringing those in. And cutting like a bird. Meh. A bird, a grist.
And I guess a Yog. Hope we don't draw three Yogs. Whether or not that's right, we'll find out. But. And so we have the Young Wolf. But we don't have much else. X or less, meaning we can go get... Okay, this can grab our card. Just ditch the dorks. That's probably correct, is just ditch the dorks. Let's see that thought. Piving Needle names Yogmoth. Darn, if only we had some way to deal with an artifact that names cards... This is going to be so bad when, you know, they follow this up with a discard spell. Overgrown Tomb. Shock it in. Young Wolf, pass the turn. It's okay. I don't know my list either. Hmm. No, all right. Pithing Needle. Marsh Flats. Godless Shrine. Shock in. And let's see that Stoneforge Mystic. Yep. Cauldra complete is found. Okay. Strangle root geist. That's a card. Turn fast enough. Yeah. That didn't sound good. Green green geist. Combat swing with the Geist. You want to trade your Stoneforge? Come on, I know you want to. Darn, they didn't want to trade their Stoneforge Mystic. I wonder why. So the problem here is Cauldra is an indestructible artifact. And it has Trample, right? So 5-5, five, five, First Strike, Trample, Indestructible. It's just Wall of Text. Well, there's a messenger. This, this has to go get basic forest at this point. Basic Forest. I guess I should have gotten not Basic Forest, but Basic Swamp, because I can't actually get the Swamp off of the Rainforest. So I won't be able to cast this Messenger. Rexage ETB, hit the Needle, Smack for three. So there's a Triome. If I can live for two turns, we can Yogmoth into Evolution to get Blood Artist. 
and win. Sword of Feast and Famine. Why would you not use Stoneforge and quit? Yep, exile that creature. Nice. We're down to four. There is just about nothing we can do here. Because this takes us to three. We can Yog Moth. Attack. And then... Because we can't shrink that enough, can we? Not at four life. Aldra complete. We'll get it there. But yeah. Cut the dorks. Bring back in Yagmoth Grist. Um... What else did we take out? Then I guess thought sees because we need a way to deal with. Yeah, thought sees as a way to deal with the stupid ultra complete. Too slow. Sort of Feast and Famine, pro green, pro black. Right? Okay, keep this bottom. Well, yeah, if we can kill a Stoneforge quickly, but I'm not, I can't really bank on that. They hadn't attached the sword yet. It was sitting up at the top. I was just assuming they were going to attach the sword and swing. So I could only shrink it so much. We're going to him shocked in Thotsies. Fun. What, by Blood Artist or by Messenger? Gets rid of Cord. Okay. Yay for Thotsies bug. Inquisition. Taking messenger, or you taking cord. You were scared of cord the first time. Are you scared of it the second time? No. Okay. So we can't even evolution. And we can't cord. I mean, we brought in all of our. I guess I could have brought in Force of Vigor, so we have more than just one way to deal with. But yeah, we brought in both the Grists. We didn't keep a Grist out. And so they kept a one lander, we kept a two lander. I think, right? Yeah. We have all of our grists. Well, that's a hand. Uh, 
I mean, I take the Stone Forge here. I know Vigor doesn't kill Cauldra, but it kills things like Pithing Needle and Sword and Batter Skull. Stupid artifact having indestructible and giving the token indestructible. Alright, so they missed the land drop there, which is great. And we can cord for zero here. And get Dryad Arbor. Yeah. So... Do we cord for zero? Or cord for one? Code for one gets us Essence Warden, and then we can Eldritch Evolution. I have to tap this differently. Code for Wolf, you're right. Wolf is one. Is an undying. Forgot that we have Young Wolf in this deck. There we go. There's a land. Now we swing for one. They don't block. Surprise, surprise. Now we go green, green, one. Sacrifice the young wolf. This and save targets. Yield. Now we do this. Do we get... Do we wreck sage? Or do we do something like grist? I guess, yeah, we wreck Sage here to get rid of the Needle. Yes. Yes. They have a 4-5 Goyf. Okay. Sack this. Dryad Arbor. Yeah. Interesting that land hadn't been put into the battlefield there yet. Goyfs. Goyfs galore. Take the drain. Do this just to thin. We don't have any landfall cards. Evolution. Uh, but we don't have a second undying creature. But we could draw one. Evolution Rex Sage here. Blood Artist Trigger. Evolution to go get Yog. <sighs> no. Hmm. So we don't have a way, we could destroy a goyf and then block. Yeah, we go grab Grist here. We can sack 
Young Wolf. I know this hurts our board state. But... We do this. If Goyf goes at Grist, we chump with the artist. If Goyf goes at face, we gladly take it to the face. Dang. Okay, we milled over a land. Oh, that's fine. Has opponent found second? Nope, they're good. <laughs> they have to damn the insect token. So that way they get to keep their goif around. Messenger? Sure. Opponent loses two. Now they kind of have to stay on the back pedal. They fetch down to six. Godless Shrine down to four. Prismatic ending. Yep. Ending the messenger. There at four. We just need to rip messenger, messenger, messenger. Can't do that. There's a messenger in the yard. Well, there's a Yagi boy. I'm going to play it out and see what we can do here. Lingering Souls? Sword of Feast and Famine. Makes sense. So, six. Okay, they don't swing in. Cord. That's game. Cord, Convoke. Cord for three. Go grab the messenger. Messenger ETB trigger. Target opponent loses two life. We'll put a counter there and we'll sack there. Undying trigger. Lose two life, opponent. There we go. All right, we won the die roll here. We're going to take the play. We'll try it. Against the Luris deck, I think we need to go a bit faster. Also, having ramp into ramp into evolution and cord, probably not bad here. But I've been wrong before. Water gave shocked in crab. Okay. I don't know if he could. I mean, at that point, the spell's resolving. You could argue that because this is not a RE or competitive REL event, that. Both players can rewind, but mm, that's up to the opponent. So I really don't want this crab sticking around. And while this feels bad... Oh. <laughs> 
High Tide, a simple deck to pilot. This, we are going to sacrifice a creature because I really don't want you to have a crab around opponent. I would rather lose the dork than you keep a crab. I know how strong crabs are in mill. Don't have the second one. That's just rude. Well, I know what card's coming in. We got another fetch land here, opponent, or do we have more crabs? Okay, no land, but they do have the cycle to try to find it. One yog, two yog. Or we'll draw a yog. Play Yug. Hmm. I really don't like the thought of losing Grist here. But I dislike the thought of them milling more. So we can evolution the wall here next turn. They're going to drown. Wonder what card they, well, they were tapped out. So they couldn't have played it anyway there. This, we draw a wall. Okay. This play out wall. This play out young wolf. I can swing with the wolf, but they have a crab. We can currently cord for three. We can also evolution. Well, this just draws us our deck. Counter, counter, this evolution on the wall. Do you have the drown in the lock? You do. Darn. Guess I won't evolution this turn. Turn them both sideways. Your crab can block a 1-1. One, one. Double blue cycle. Yep. So that's three of the four Yogmoths. And no land. Fortunate for our opponent. So now we can cord for four and draw our deck. This convoke. 
Pay green, pay green, pay green. Pay green, one, two, three. Grab our last Yogmoth here. And we gain a life. But a minus one, minus one counter there. Sacrifice here. Undying. Then we get to do this. This target here, go here. Yield, yield. Yeah, I I know. I know we need to be careful. So, click here, sack here. I just need to try to find something here. Okay, that's good enough. Go there and sack here. We've got 25. They've got two lands. They're going to archive trap us. Don't have double archive trap. Okay. Main decking in Francis. <laughs> Uh, well, there's visions. I'm not surprised. Yeah, I'm hoping I can get this game one here. So we have two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I only have 13 damage, so it's a two turn clock. I dislike that hideaway. So we need a messenger. That's fine. Because this Meyer will guarantee us a messenger here unless they have. Push on a wolf. <sighs> that and sacker wall. Blood artist will do it. So Twilight Mire here. Black one blood artist. Then Strangle Root to start the combo. Attack with all. Combat damage. This up to there. Sack here. Trigger target. I want to save targets and yield because they're at 10. This up to there, the sack here. Triggers go on the stack. You there, sack. You there, triggers, bleh. Opponent making me click through this, unfortunate. I get that I'm slow, but. There, there. You here, there.
There, there. Oh, it's definitely a pain, as you can see. So we go to 25, they go to zero. We have two cards left in our deck. <sighs> I'm glad I am paper for <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> All right. Getting game one against Mill here is huge. So endurance, say hello. Like, Necromentra sounds so tempting, but no. Um, Veil vale only stops Archive Traps and Hedron Crabs. So it's just Endurance in. And then I guess Yogg out. And just kind of go beat down plan. Shave one bird. I mean. Because it can combo, yeah. Our problem here is that we don't have... Interesting. They didn't lead on a crab. So this fetch and shock... Our life total really doesn't matter here. Don't know what you would need to kill in sex too slow. It's Grist. True. Grist is not a great card in this matchup. That's probably more correct. Watery Grave shocked in, meaning they have the fatal push. Darn you. How dare you get rid of my first mana dork. Hide away. Face down card has entered the exile zone. A snake has been found. A slithery snake. You have push number two opponent? They have push number two. Okay. Now we need to draw land. Problem is Drown in the Lock is online now. That is not a land. So Hepatra it is. Nice. Always bolt the board. Yep. That eh, Ordergrave tapped. Things aren't looking hot for the home team here. Cycles Visions. Cycles Visions. Cord. So we can cord for zero to find the Dryad Arbor. I don't know what it buys us. Oh, yeah. I mean, it always feels bad, but... We don't exactly have much to bring in. So they've got lots of mana here. 
I would like to cord here. Cord for zero. I know this turns on archive trap, which isn't great. But what? Can they have quad trap? I doubt it. Twilight Mire here. Surgical extraction on the cord. Well, Hepatra had summoning sickness last turn. I did that. Oh, no, you're right. You're right. Because I had to tap the mana. I was stupid. You're right. I forgot that Hepatra has that clause of when it deals combat damage to a player tagged onto it. So let's try to get in here. There we go. See, no, it's put a minus one, minus one. Oh, and then I can put a minus one, minus one on Hepatra and make a snake. That's a weird line, but it's workable. I can see it. I'm going to say no here, though. Throwing this into their counter... What? What? Didn't have counter magic? Opponent? So like we have a two turn clock and we also just have lethal. If Yagmoth resolves, so we hit for two, and we hit there, this, okay, no, try to resolve a Yagmoth. You're going to extirpate. Okay. It's still five damage. Like it says up to, well, but it's a target creature. I targeted it. We make a snake so we don't lose out on any damage here. Now I have five damage. You're at five, opponent. What you got? Murderous cut? Considering how long it's taking in the black floating, it's murderous cut. Yep. Destroys that creature. Makes sense. Strangle root guys off the top. Extirpates Yagmoth. Sure. You take both from the hand. And the one in the deck. Now, I don't draw any more cards from them taking from the hand, which feels bad. Wall of Roots. And put a counter. Young Wolf.
combat swing. Take opponent down to two. Patra. We'll put a counter on the wall of roots and make ourselves a snake. Just go wide. All right, opponent. You got a way to mill me for 38 in a turn. Got a way to gain enough life. No. All right. Mill losing to Yagmoth combo. Hmm. They had lots of interaction, but just no mill spell. And so they needed us to play out, and you don't want to be low against Jagmoth combo as the mill side of things. We'll take it. All right, we won the die roll here. We will gladly take the play. Anne's got a bunch of lands, and it's... Okay. Um... Yeah, I was gonna say I the reason why I love this deck is because it's it's not really a combo deck. It's basically just Golgari aggro with a combo thrown in, and if you can't deal with the combo, you lose. But yeah. having to mulligan to oblivion here, keeping for bottom. Bottom, bottom. This feels awful, but it's the only line that I really see at four. Hmm. Breeding pool tapped. Passes the turn. Green, green, strangle root here. Combat hit. Yeah, I'd imagine. Caryatid, meaning this is... Karyatid and Garuda. Huh. Not what I would have expected. I know I could have played the wall after combat. That's the correct line, but... We don't need correct lines. We can play Lucy Goose. Evoke to Geist, Evil Twin. So they make us discard the evolution here. Because that's the card that we can cast. They have three black or four total mana. when it's playing Garuda combo. And I can't do whatever I want. Like, there is within reason. Hmm. Need you to win and send the screenshot to Motown. <laughs> uh.
So Garuda went to hand. No, we still just swing with the two. Because they don't want to have to block with their O3s, but they might have to at some point. You go down to eight. Play out this young wolf. Cry as we can't hit land. You don't win. <laughs> <sighs> but where's the fun in that? So they go gemstone, I'm assuming. I mean, it might be the best deck in standard. The problem is, this is modern. Garuda, let's see what happens. Lands for them and lands for us. <laughs> uh, that's a Garuda. So this, this, Geist. Combat, turn them all sideways. Rah. So they block and block. Taking two, going to six. And dying gives us a three, two. Evil twin, spark double, Garuda. Yep. Apatra or Ignoble for us. Coligan. Okay. All right. That's actually scary. Swings with just a six five. Say just evolution. Evolution into Yagmoth. We get to draw cards galore, but that's it. Evolution into Messenger. After getting in for two points of damage. Evolution for Blood Artist. I like that plan better. Blood Artist has not been milled, but I like the, this for this, and now we just combo, pay one life, target here, sack here, I did that inverted! And that's going to cost us, isn't it? Also, we're not gaining life this way. So we're now on the hard part. I don't think that we're ever going to get there. There's a land. Up to one, do here. The land makes us out if we can find a blood artist. I mean, we only have six more draws at it. Apparently, we're not going to find it.
Well, there's an evolution. Mm, too bad evolution can't cast. Okay. I thought I did that backwards again. There's the cord. Green, green, green. One, two. Cord for two. Get blood artist here. And now we target here. Sack here. This and save targets. And we can... There we go. Yay, opponent's not making us click through the combo. <laughs> Anyway, we get there by the skin of our teeth. Um, we had what? Two more draws? Or no, we had one more draw. So if that car, so if that card wasn't cord, wow. <laughs> okay. Hmm. What do we want against Garuda combo? Anything? Like, is the Necromancer Thoughtseize package worth it? Is the Scooze package worth it? No, Scooze package is not. Um. Yeah. Because most of the time they go. Put Garuda into hand to pass the turn, hope that they get to keep Garuda. So if we just thought seize away or Necromentia the Garuda, I feel that's probably enough. Either Garuda or Dragonlord Coligan or whatever. Hmm. I think we just run back main board. Well, I saw your message too late. I agree though. Mulligan, keep. Bottom, I guess, a wall of roots. I mean, it depends on what they have in board, right? I'm too slow. Mobile's like a full moon bind. That's there. So there's a way to do this. Green, green, wall of roots, put a counter, green, string or root. There we go. Just ramp as much as physically possible here. Exalted trigger. One takes three, go to 17. We're a mana short of being able to Blood Artist and the Ogmoth next turn. Leyline of the Void. Well, you were right about the Leyline. I would have expected that card to come down earlier if I was them. Draw a card, we draw a Yagi Boy. So Yagmoth is currently a 2-4 beater.
<laughs> I don't dislike that game plan. Garuda to hand. Mm, and we didn't bring anything off the top here. Messenger. Don't have the mana to messenger and physician. So this. You this. Messenger. Opponent loses two life. Swing. Down to nine they go. Problem is... I believe they can Garuda if they have a land. Yep. I believe Garuda's six. Yep. Garuda into Evil Twin or Sakashima, sure. That happens. Garuda again to another Sakashima. Yep. Do you have any enchant hand main? I don't think we do. Not like we're beating chained Garudas like this. Hey. Fantasmal image. Apatra to end it. <sighs> I mean, <laughs> like, we can just move on. Because I can block that for a turn. All right, forces come in, Rex Age comes in. I feel Necromintra and Thought Seizes a lot. But... There's no way they run body double, right? Body double's five, so they can't. Okay. Knowing that, Thought Seize is safe. We don't need the Necromintra. We need to board out six. Grist is probably slow. Then we need more. Trim a bit on the combo. They block Young Wolf real easily, so we'll take out one wolf. One bird. Because Exalted Trigger matters. Feels wrong boarding out green cards when we're bringing in cards that care about green cards, but... Yes. So we have no. Okay. Keep this bottom. Bottom Yog for now. I'm assuming they're going to do Leyline of the Void here. Oh, Gemstone and Leyline. All right. And they exile the Breeding Pool. Fun, fun.
And carry a tid, yep. This, that. Green, green, Geist. I know you're just going to block with your 03, but I'm still going to force you to do it. All right. Garuda to hand. They're still a bit of ways off from being able to do anything with Garuda. Why'd they put it into hand so quick? It's black thought sees you. Take Garuda. Guy's gonna send a message. It's real awkward because we're probably going to evolution this artist to get rid of the ley line. So we'll lose the artist, but then we'll get the undying stuff. Because we know that their hand is Yavamaya unknown. This, we draw the ignoble. Ignoble Hierarch. Swing. You want to block now with your Karyatid? No. Why not? <sighs> green, green, one. We're going to have to sack the artist here. I know we don't get the artist trigger. But this, now we go and get Rex Sage, Rex Sage ETB, destroy that Leyline of the Void. Sack Noble post combat. I can see sacking Noble post combat. I thought about the Noble over the Blood Artist. I just figured that the Exalted trigger makes it so that they don't want to block with their Karyatid. And yeah, Blood Artist is definitely more valuable as the combo piece. So I know that their hands Yavamaya and something. Is this about to be a Garuda? Evil Twin. Copy of anything on the battlefield. Okay. Goes with Geist. Fun. You swing in with your strangle root geist. No. So their hand's still just Yavamaya, which makes sense because legendary land. <clears throat> so we can cord for four. On the instep. Destroy target creature with the same name. Fun. Undying? Now, if they try that, we just cord in response. Oh, I know. Cloning on dying creatures is great. So they're going to try to destroy in response. We're going to cord and then put a counter on it. Green, 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 this cord, green, green, that cord for four. I'm 
can go get ourselves a Yagmoth. Then pay one life, sack another creature. We're gonna put here. We're gonna sack, I guess, the Hierarch at this point. And sure. You can destroy my Strangle Root Geist. Undying. Hmm. They are paying costs. Phantasmal image. Okay. Copying Yagma. <laughs> All right. So this and they're gonna... Where'd they put the counter? So up to one target creature and draws a card. Oh, they're going this way. All right. And now they're going to destroy this same Yagmoth. Okay, opponent, I see you. Well, that's unfortunate. Dogmoth is a human, right? Yeah. <laughs> so if we swing out... I think it's a block. If they block the Geist, we can sack. Okay. Chooses to block nothing and goes down to nine. We will pass the turn. Phantasmal image. Yagmoth is safe from the evil twin? Yes, because it has target. So we're gonna... Go no target, sacrifice or strangle root. Sorry, they don't get the undying. They can only pick Rexage. Or another Yogmoth. Or another Karyatid. Gonna put and draw. A one life, sacrifice. Yep. I should have said no target. Because now they force to have to pick Yogmoth and then they have to sack because Legend Rule. Like they shouldn't have done that. They should have just copied their Karyatid. We should have one more card in our hand. Because I wasn't thinking. Because when you sack the target, they don't you don't get the draw. Paying costs. Proliferate. Yeah, 
That's text on Yagmoth. Forgot about that line of text. <laughs> so we have a four turn clock. They've got faster than a four turn clock. Other than they're not attacking. This green draw card. We draw a force of vigor, which isn't phenomenal. But we can play out the Geist. Minimalistically, it draws us a card. Opponent has conceded and lost connection. So, not a turn one hierarch. I think this is a mulligan. We're facing fish taco. I don't know how I feel about that. We can keep and bottom the arbor. Humans. That'd be great, actually. Which one, the private message or the uh, group? If more than just you see, <laughs> you shall know real shame. Okay, I'll do it after this match between this and Belcher. <sighs> Really, only nine fifty. I'm impressed. Okay, well, this hurts. Hierarch getting in with the exalted trigger. Ah, uh, when you type that, you only said the group option. Understandable. Chat delay is always fun to try to deal with. This, let's go get Overgrown Tomb. And we hit another Geist. I know we take a chunk of damage by swinging here, but we're going to Grist into Kill the Champion. And have a 3-2. Instead of saving it as a blocker. Watch this be Mantis Rider. Nope. Oh, meddling Mage. Oh. Reflector Mage. You've been worse. So we got in for the chunk of damage. Should also tell, yeah, I wasn't gonna just randomly send it. I was gonna say Donovan says hello, or something along the lines of Donovan said you endorsed Garuda combo. Mm. And so they draw a card here. Our insect token is on blocking duty. We're hoping to hit an untapped land here. Human, human, human. Oh gosh, this is that Ardlin. Uncounterable. And then they have a 4-4 four, four, and then they're going to make... Yeah. Bomb it. And has meddling mage. Name strangle root, guys. They actually named Strangle Root Geist the Madman.
So this is all at, okay, that's at me. Yo, that's a mistake. Cause now if I do this, guys, er, yeah, Grist goes to two. This has to enter black, black, black messenger enters tapped sadly. Opponent loses two life. And now we have to do this. Sacrifice. We have to destroy. That's just going to grow out of control and grow the parish. I like we really have an out. Because this is seven. This is six, eight, ten, eleven. They have lethal on board. So let's see if they want to show us any more information. They show us that they have a Mantis Rider. Cool. You already had lethal. So... Humans. Adeline's a real nice addition to humans. I'm not gonna lie. Um... Yeah. Feel Scoot isn't bad to help stabilize. We're just not getting to Yagmoth. Like we don't have any removal in this board. We could thought seize our Necromentia. I feel that's just wrong. Endurance, Force, Rex, yeah. I think it's just Scooze. I just think this is going to be a bad matchup. Will they take the play? It, that's true. Endurance and Bailoth are decent bodies. Can't keep because we don't have Black Source. This we can keep. <laughs> Shave on Yogg and Messenger. Okay. So the Scooze was at least correct. This. From the forest here. Shock in and drop the Young Wolf past the turn. Drop cord. Okay. Makes sense. And shave on a bird. Yeah. Vile. Black one, blood artist, and get in for one. Because they can't vial anything in on zero. I mean, you've played the deck more than I have, so you're probably more correct. And I agree, what you said. Bailoth's Endurance and Skews are all great bodies. Hierarch here. Combat swing with the wolf. Exalted trigger. Do you want to trade your lieutenant? You do not. Okay, understandable. Green one. Scoozy boy. And this is going to be violin noble hierarch. No. No vile?
white, white, blue reflector. Oh, add a line. Sure. Little on the weaker side of things. That Thalia is going to grow, though. But that human does have to attack. We're going to block. Here, one one gets blocked. Has another lieutenant to trade? Unfortunate. Save target, always yield. Well, flooding ain't really what I want to do. I'm not exactly in the market to own a bunch of land right now. Red. So let me guess. Imperial Recruiter? Yep. Recruiter, grow your lieutenants. Reflector Mage. And then they have the Mage. I'm assuming they're going to vial it in and reflect our wolf. Get a Dryad Arbor here. Yep. And then they Vile and Reflector Mage. We doing what? So, Reflector Mage is the Blood Artist. Interesting. Stack like that, take 11, go to one. This way we can crack our foothills. Nope. Go it on our own terms. All right. Three and two with Yagmoth. So. Overall, it's a fun combo deck. It doesn't have to be a combo deck either. It can do fun things. It's it's in it's it's got lots of lines that you definitely need to know. Overall, if it's what one you're looking to pick up, pick it up, learn it. It doesn't seem to have a great super fast aggressive matchup as you saw with that humans line. Um but a lot of the format right now isn't super aggressive. It's kind of just there. So if you can go, if your beatdown plan is fast enough, or if you can combo them out, this can definitely do a lot. I like it. I might end up picking up some of this for paper. Who knows? Anyway, with that being said, go ahead and like and subscribe if you're watching this on YouTube. And I'll see y'all next video. Have a good one.